Art. See, art. I think that art. Um. What I view art to be is it's a view of the world intended to inspire a view of the world. It's always just yourself put out for other people to interact with. Anything from music to um, food to speech, so it's a various, it has various meanings. It could be a painting, photography, a movie, it's just anything that comes from within somebody else. Any and every form of expression, uh, no matter what you use, any form of media that expresses the artists, the person creating that, expresses their motivation to live. It's music, it's canvas, sculpture, just rolling on the ground. Purely self-expression. Yeah, as a beholder, there are many different forms of art. A way of living and a way of thinking and a way of expressing that is not like any other. It's your life being poured out on a canvas, on a guitar, on a page, and that's art. Art is any kind of manifestation of your personal message that you want to give to other human beings. I don't think that I'm directing or putting on different shows or doing anything differently because of because of that. I think sometimes, it, it, you know, stuff like that really changes focus of people of what they find important and stuff like that. You know, I I'll never think that people aren't coming to shows uh, and stuff like that because they don't have the money. It's it's hard to have the funding to go anywhere with transportation. Kids can't afford it, the schools can't afford it. Um, also, any support we have at the concerts as far as ticket sales, um, the schools keep that money and they don't let uh, the music departments spend any of that money on the concerts when we need to spend the money on lights and sound and everything like that, and that is no longer given to us. I just feel like more and more every year, more money is taken away from us um, I, I must be down 90% from 10 years ago, the funding that we used to get. Over the past, I'd say, three years, I've really seen cuts. I used to teach set construction courses in conjunction with each of the shows. So I um, taught one with the fall musical and with the spring play. They cut the one opposite the spring play. In the last three years, we've cut 1.5 million. I mean, we only have one foreign language now. We have, we've, we've, we're down to four English teachers for the entire high school. We're, it's really been cut, but not my program. Actually, they haven't cut my overall budget at all. But then they've cut the music program. So they've cut the band teacher down to where he's two-thirds time at the high school, one-third time at the middle school. And the same thing with the choir teacher. He's mm -hmm. been cut. He lost a quarter of his time where he has to go down to the middle school. And then this is on top of cuts at the lower grades, so we have less feeder for musicians coming in. So while it hasn't, I would say, directly impacted my program to the extent that it could have, it's affected what feeds into my program, so it's just a matter of time.
I made it very clear to my superintendent and to the school district that if they cut the musical class, which will, I mean, right now, 38 kids were in the cast of Hello Dolly, and of those, nine are varsity football players. Another two are varsity cross, cross country, plus varsity volleyball, varsity tennis, varsity golf. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's absolutely no way they could have done both activities in the, in the fall. So I've said to him, if you cut that class, you've basically cut my program. I will not do it as an extra. It's just not possible in a school yep. this small to put on the caliber of show we do. I've been able to demonstrate the need for it as a class. There's, there's a clear curriculum. Yeah. <laughs> I think just because of talent level of kids, and kids are, the ability they have to showcase their talents are, are there, it's just sometimes letting other people see that. I think a lot of times in the community there's like, oh, they're not doing anything, those kids are crazy. Like, yeah. given the opportunity that kids can do some pretty amazing stuff. But the truth is, every study ever conducted shows that the best way to learn math is through music. The only way to teach writing is to give somebody something to write about. And that's where the arts come in. And that's all of them. The visual arts, the creative arts, the, the technical arts, and, you know, so theater, dance, um, construction, all of those types of, of art. It's so incredible because what I get to see happen is I get to see a true team being built. I see kids who've never had a forum for true artistic expression finally feel like they can be themselves. It's a way for people to become confident in expressing themselves, um, feel comfortable publicly expressing themselves, and it makes them more socially comfortable. Just the, the ability that it takes, it's kind of, you know, what, what you're learning in art, um, or our lifetime sort of skills. I mean, to say that that doesn't happen in sports too, and, and I think you can see it in, in both avenues. Listening to people, communicating with other people, and uh, taking risks, and, and being part of an ensemble, and, and doing this sort of those are things we always think that kids can't do, but it's obvious that, it's obvious that, they, that they can. get drawn in and loving to see kids success and being um, um, excited about some of the same things as a young musician that I grew up in doing and, and when you teach it you you enjoy seeing the progress and the success. I come from a family of teachers. I'm actually a third generation Wisconsin teacher. I actually went to college initially, went to UW-Stevens Point to, um, to study dance and become a lawyer. I got a degree in English and political science and did my student teaching at Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln where I got to actually student teach full-time theater mm -hmm. um, and work on two shows. We did a play and a musical. I left that, became a lobbyist for the UW system, mm -hmm. still think I was going to be a lawyer, still think I was going to do politics. And then I, I went back to Stevens Point to see a play at the university and saw a bunch of my former students from Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln and just said, okay, this is ridiculous. I, I am trying to impact the world through education as a lobbyist and I do so much more with, with students every single yeah. day. I went into teaching English and teaching high school because I, I felt that that's such a... It's just an important time in kids' lives. You know, part of becoming a teacher for me is like, well, I, want, I want other kids that are kind of, they're kind of out there, not really with anything to stick to or anything to call something they're good at, you know, to give them an opportunity to, to find who they are and, and to go on and, and do uh, 
great things. Music and the arts is the least funded, it is the first to go. Um, that is really disappointing. It's disappointing to um, know that others view it. As Seeing the arts on the same level as those of it, there's always this secondary, always this sort of kind of fringe sort of thing that, that people do and it's fine, it's great, it's wonderful. But until they start equating that on the same level, um, I don't think kids are going to be involved in the same the community's not going to buy into it. So like, this is something that traditionally has been valued in their, in their socioeconomic group. It's, you know, the arts are art up there. What now? What now? What now? What now? We inspire. There's things that my kids are doing outside of class, uh, like like my English students, that they're doing outside of class, and I had, I had no clue that they're doing. <laughs> it's like, holy cow, you did that outside of class. <laughs> yeah. We generate support from our communities. We go out in the community um, quite a bit. I mean, we have 50 shows or so just in the month of December. And when we go out, it comforts the community to see talent, to see self-discipline, to show um, a positive influence in a younger society. We engage politicians. Scott Walker, who did not graduate from college, who is not a supporter of the arts, has made it very clear that he intends on cutting five UW system schools. And that's how he plans on balancing the budget. I don't know how we expect our students to go on to anything. It's published on his webpage that he thinks that we've gotten away from the basics and he does not recognize a need for comprehensive education. And I do think um, continuing to get people to understand what 21st century skills are and how you, in order to, to get somebody to be successful in the business world, you, they have to know how to speak and interact and be a part of a team and think creatively. And this is a continuous challenge for us. I serve on the National Education Association Board yep. of Directors. So I've been lobbying on this for five years now and working on this and, and even um, even President Obama has had challenges and initiatives that don't necessarily allow for the arts. The arts are not tested, the arts are not e easily understood, easily evaluated, and so part of our burden has been, I think, as arts educators, is to create a way to make it so that they are. I have hope. I don't think too much damage can be done in Wisconsin in two years, and I'm optimistic that people will recognize a need for balance. It's more important than ever that the arts stand up and illustrate the rigor in our program. It's not about a kid taking a paintbrush and putting it to paper. It's about a kid creating a vision in his mind and taking that vision and making it relatable to someone else. We generate support. You can't get parents to come. You can't get even your administration. So how are you going to get other community members to show up? We advocate. We get involved. We praise our teachers. We donate. We dance, we create, we sculpt, we move, we draw, we cook, we paint, we act, we play, we provoke, we question. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? You never get enough of knowing that you've had the opportunity to help people find pure joy in a place they never thought they'd find it.